Just like we don't know who came first, the egg or the chicken, we're not really sure who invented the eggs benedict. One thing we know, it was in Lower Manhattan, New York. And the classic used to be with ham, but today we're gonna take a switch up. We're going to make an English muffin, we're gonna top it up with some beet cured smoked salmon. Oh, that sounds fantastic, doesn't it? We'll top it up with a poached egg, some beautiful chives, capers, and a homemade hollandaise. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to do this. So let's go. All right, let's start working on the pickle shallots. Okay, so we're gonna start with the pickle. In a saucepan, we're going to bring our sugar, water, and vinegar. It's one to one to one. Again, recipe is always in the comment below. And we're gonna give that a tiny whisk, make sure it's fully combined, and we're gonna place that on the stove on medium heat. Then we're gonna add a spring of rosemary, a bunch of spices, coriander, and long pepper. Give that another tiny whisk. And we're going to start working on our shallots while it's steeping. So we're gonna peel that beautiful shallot and we're going to slice it on a mandolin super, super thin, like paper thin. You don't have to use a mandolin per se, you could absolutely use a knife, but for the best result and make sure it's even, um, that's what I'm going to use. Once it's uh, all sliced, I'm going to use a scraper because we don't want to hurt our knife and we want to make sure it's nice and sharp. We're going to place it into a bowl and then we're gonna grab the pickling liquid and we're gonna pour it over the shallots and it's gonna start pickling right away. We're gonna let it cool down until we need it later on. All right, now let's cut the chives for the garnish. I was debating on show you guys how to do it because I feel like by now you know how to do it. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you do the claw so you don't hurt your fingers. Make sure it's nice and sharp so you don't bruise your herbs. And that's about it for that part. Before we start to get to the technical things, let's make a quick fennel salad. I love that part. That fennel salad is going to make our dish. So we're going to split our fennel from the top to the bottom cut it in half and we're not going to throw the top because this is also very delicious. So we're going to split the fonts because we're actually going to put them in the salad. Back on the mandolin, again, you can do it with your knife. We're going to slice the fennel super, super thin, pepper thin and place it into a bowl with cold water so they're going to stay nice and super crispy. All right, now things going to start to get heated. Let's work on the hollandaise. All right, now it's time to pay attention because it's definitely the most intense part of this dish, but come on, it's not that difficult. We're going to take our butter, place it in the saucepan, and we're gonna melt it all the way. You see that milky froth on top? That's not good. So you're actually going to separate it, okay? So you're gonna remove the milk solids from the fat. It's called clarifying. This is what we're doing right now until it's completely clear. Once you have the clear liquid, you're gonna pass it through a sieve and you're gonna reserve that butter to cool down a little bit so we don't actually overcook our eggs when we emulsify the hollandaise. All right, now that we're done with the butter, let's work on the eggs. We are going to separate our eggs, okay? So you can do the classic way, just going from one shell to another, or you can also use your fingers. So you're pretty much gonna use your hand and the white's gonna go through. If you do that, just wash your hands. This is all I'm asking. I'm going to take a lemon and I'm gonna squeeze the juice out with the eggs, and this is how we're gonna form of sabayon. Okay, so that's a technique that we are going to use right now. Okay, so we're gonna place our eggs and lemon juice on top of a double boiler and we're gonna start whisking until it creates like a really thick white paste. You wanna make sure you don't overheat your eggs. So place your hand underneath and if it's too hot, then it might curdle your eggs. So just be safe. That step is actually super crucial. So do not stop whisking until it's actually quite thick. Now we're gonna start the emulsification. So we're gonna actually take that clarified butter we did earlier and we're gonna pour it onto our eggs and whisk it. You don't wanna be very slow, okay? You don't wanna pour it too, too fast or else it may split. So just be careful. So you're gonna do that until all your butter is incorporated. You're gonna whisk that nicely. And then when it's done, we're gonna start seasoning our eggs. We're going to add some salt, some pepper, and ideally some espelette, which is a chili powder from France. But if you don't have any, you can use any chili powder that you have in your pantry or that you like. And we're gonna emulsify that, put it to the side, and also cover it so it doesn't create a skin on top. All right, we're about to be ready. I'm going to poach some eggs. I've also brought some beautiful capers. Here we have some salmon, which has been a bit cured from my friends at the smoke block. And here we have some beautiful English muffin. And you can probably check out this video if you wanna see how to make them. And I'm just gonna slice it in half and I'm just gonna toast it nicely. 
let's do it. In a frying pan, I'm going to add some olive oil. I'm gonna place my English muffin down on the flesh side until they are nice and crispy. It will take about a minute or two. Then we're gonna place them on a paper towel so you can remove all the egg seed fat. All right, so for the eggs, I've placed a medium saucepan with boiling water and some white vinegar, and I'm gonna crack an egg into a ramekin. I'm going to start whisking the water so it creates a bit of a uh, vault. And I'm gonna place my egg in the middle of that twirling water so it's gonna start cutting. The egg's gonna wrap around the yolk. And we're gonna help it with a spoon, make sure it's like kind of like over each other so it's nicely combined. It's like the egg yolk it is like being wrapped by a cloud of white. Doesn't that sound romantic? Anyway, once it's cooked, we're going to place it on a paper towel to absorb all of the extra water. And we're just going to season it with a bit of black pepper and some salt and now we're done. All right, that was easy, wasn't it? We have all of our beautiful ingredients. Now let's bring them together and we're gonna start eating. Okay, so we're gonna place our English muffin down and we're gonna start working on a fennel salad. We're gonna make sure we dry out all the eggs in water, plus into a bowl with some salt, pepper, and some olive oil. We're gonna make sure we toast that and we're gonna place it on top of our English muffin. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want. It's like everything we do in the show, you are in charge. Once we have our fennel, we're gonna put our salmon down. Once again, I'm using the beautiful BQ smoked salmon. And next, we're gonna place our pickle shallots. Just like the fennel, make sure we actually dry it out from the pickle liquid so it doesn't run everywhere. Once we have our pickle shallots, we're gonna add our eggs. So try to use the salmon kind of as a bed so the eggs doesn't run out. And we're gonna then top it up with a beautiful hollandaise that we work so hard on. Look at that velvety, oof, that looks so yummy. You can also brule it. Um, it's also optional. You may not have one at home anyway, so do whatever you want. And then we're gonna finish it with our capers and our chives. And it's about ready to be eaten. I don't know about you, but I am so excited. I'm going to jump on those eggs Benedict right now. All right, if you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. I kind of wait to dig in. We have some delicious smoked salmon with a delicious hollandaise, some beautiful poached eggs. It's gonna be super balanced, so I'm going to try now. Wow, look at that egg yolk, perfectly running. I mean, come on. Sweetness from the pickle, acidity from the lemon, richness from the bread, the yolk, smoked salmon. I don't know what else to tell you. See you soon.